What remains in my mind that I will never forget is the death of my wife and children. That still haunts me every time. I was hiding with them in the house. But I left first as I did not want to see them being killed. However, when I approached the door to go out, the invader struck me with a machete on the neck and I fell over. So I could listen whatever happened inside the house, even their screams. The image stays in my eyes and I think it will stay with me till I die. You see, one's children is an important thing, the wife too. Therefore, in my life, that is the only thing which hurt me the most. Here is a blow of machete. You can see a scar here on my neck, where I cannot see. It does not matter to me compared to the image of that day, the 7th of April. That one will remain with me all my life because it is the darkest moment I endured in my life. You see, I was a 44-year-old man and I had seven children. All of them were killed in front of my eyes. That is an image that every parent will keep. You can forget any other thing, but not that one. Uh, I have already forgiven them in my mind, although none of them approached me to beg pardon. I did it in order to have a peace of mind. What I needed was peace. Our government granted it, so there was no reason to keep that hatred. That is why I decided to forgive them on my own. The hatred and the anger cannot bring back my family. There is nothing they can pay me to replace my wife and children. For me, the best thing I had to do so that I can go to heaven and meet them was to forgive their killers, because keeping the anger always lead to bad thought. Now I feel free in me. I heard that some of the perpetrators were released, but I have no problem with that. I know they cannot dare to come and see me. I do not want to see them either, but even if I can come across them, I will not have any problem because I have already forgiven them. The country that I can give as an example is our Rwanda. When you see the way the genocide was carried out, and we still live with those who killed our families, you know the genocide was perpetrated by Hutus against Tutsis. And now we are living together without any problem. 